So it's day friends, welcome to another vlog. Hope you guys have been doing well. Yes, I know my upload frequency has been very sporadic lately and the main reason why is because I've just been extremely busy working on a bunch of different gigs. As a matter of fact, I am getting ready to go into a job right now. One of my biggest accounts is working for this company called The Good Life, filming some footage for them. Here, why don't you guys take a quick sneak peek of what I've been doing. So the Good Life Companies is basically uh, like a financial company. They're multiple companies, but they mainly deal in finances. Am I right, Kayla? Yeah. That's Kayla, by the way. She's been on the vlog several times before. Just wanted to give her a shout out for hiring me to do this because I, I don't know where I'd be if I didn't have this gig <laughs> right now because I was really, really dry as far as work goes. I'm you good have now. no idea what you signed up for, did I, you? Yeah, well, yeah, it's been, it's been a difficult process so far, but nothing I can't handle. By the way, check this out. At The Good Life, they have love sacks. <laughs> so you can go here on your lunch break, just take a nap. Wow, it is absolutely gorgeous out today. By the way, happy first day of spring. A little chilly, but the sun's out, the birds are chirping, and I'm ready for winter to be over. I'm not a fan of cold weather. I think most of you guys already know this, but I left my full-time job in the corporate world as an IT guy about three years ago. I don't want to get too deep into the reasons why, but we'll just say that I didn't like being stuck in a cubicle for 10 hours a day. However, if I had to go back to a full-time job, I wouldn't mind working for a company like The Good Life. Great company, I see a lot of great things for them in the near future, and I hope that they continue to use my services because then I don't have to worry about money issues so much. In December and into January, almost all my work dried up. Kayla called me in early February, told me that Good Life needed a bunch of videos for their website, for YouTube, for Facebook, and after that, everything sort of turned around. Now I have so many things on my plate right now that it's very difficult for me to do this, this vlogging thing. Even though I do love the vlog, I'm never gonna stop vlogging. Uh, I may not post as much, but just hang in there. I do have a couple simpler videos that have to do with food and cooking and eating. Uh, so I try and get those posted, but uh, I need to make money. Uh, that's the bottom line. My daughter just turned 16. She needs a new car and with that comes the insurance and then very soon she's gonna be off to college and then the other one's gonna be driving. All of my money, even the money that I use for traveling is being put into uh, her car fund. So I don't know when I'm gonna be able to travel again. Uh, I'd like to go somewhere soon but prices are gonna go up in the summer. I hate paying more than six or seven hundred bucks to, to fly somewhere, unless it's somewhere like super exotic, like Nagaland. Hey, several people asking me whether or not my YouTube money, my ad revenue for making these videos is enough to live off of and you know, I wish I could say yes but no, <laughs> unfortunately not. Last year I made around $3,000 so you know if you look at it it's about 250 bucks a month of extra income and what I mainly use that for is to buy my plane tickets to wherever. As a matter of fact, my trip to California was paid for with my ad revenue. 
a you know, nice little bonus for doing something I'm gonna be doing anyway. I know that if I put all my focus into making more videos, I do a little bit better, but having a family, having bills, having responsibilities, I need to basically go for uh, the work that is easier, that is immediate. Uh, things like photography yes i'm still doing photography it's still my main source of income but after fall it really drops off now i did have a handful of portraits here and there i'll also shoot real estate just filler gigs but for the most part my main photography jobs are portraits and the shoot that i was at last night is actually uh, something I do every year for my daughter's dance studio uh, and that was probably the biggest gig I've had since my last wedding in October. Anyway, it's the next morning now and I'm headed to my next gig, which isn't really a gig, it's more like a job. Kind of. It's not, it's not really a job either. Here's a fun fact, after I graduated high school, I was a bartender for about two or three years. And I think it was sometime around Christmas, I was talking to my cousin, Naria, about maybe getting a part-time bartending gig. And she said, well, you're in luck because the club that I work at, this club, which is a private club out in the middle of nowhere, is looking for a bartender to work one or two nights a week. So here I am. This is the bar that I work at. I started in January. I was working like twice a month, maybe three times a month. But uh, we lost one of our bartenders recently and no one else could pick up the hour. So you know what? I said, why not just give them to me? And uh, I have been spending a lot of evenings here. Some nights, the tips are actually really good. I think today is going to be one of those days because there's some sort of dark tournament happening and there's supposed to be like 150 people. It's dead right now because I just opened up, but yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this. For now, I like it. It's, it's nice having that extra cash and, uh, you know, it gives me something to do at night. Oh, and uh, check out these pants. I get asked about them all the time and uh, they're really just rock climbing pants, like crag hoppers. They're called Zoom Hill. They're super comfortable very very durable waterproof they keep me cool when it's hot and they keep me warm when it's cold i actually wore these all throughout india and i absolutely love them i wear them all the time if you want to copy yourself a pair just click on the link down in the description it is an affiliate link i got a tiny tiny kickback but hey look at that they're awesome $600 in cash. This is from about four nights of bartending. I didn't do the math, but I figured I'm making around $20 per hour. Not too shabby for doing something that's not very difficult. I actually kind of like it. And the people are interesting. By the way, shout out to Pat, Brendan, and Tyler. Tyler, you're on the vlog. Say hi to your dad. Hey, hey. <laughs> hi, dad. But here's the big question. Does all of this stuff that I'm doing replace the salary that I made for my full-time job? No, not by long shot. I was getting paid pretty well. But I'll say this for sure that I am a lot less stressful and I feel a lot more fulfilled. I have a lot of room to improve, but I am headed in the right direction. Now, I know there are a lot of you guys out there that are interested in leaving your day job and pursuing your own thing, whether it be starting your own business, making YouTube videos or I don't know, living off the kindness of others. It's gonna be extremely, extremely difficult. Uh, I would not be able to do this if it weren't for my wife.